Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. The problem we have in hand is we are given a function f from r to plus to r which implies the function is from the first quadrant to r given by f of x comma y is equal to x y. So we are given four options basically we have to check the quasi concavity and the concavity of the function. To check concavity of a function from R2 to R, we need to look at its double derivative, the matrix formed by the double derivatives, which is known as the Hessian matrix. Now, what is do f do x? It is equal to y and do f do y is equal to x so now we have to look at its double derivatives dou f dou square f by dou x square is equal to 0 dou square f by dou y dou x is equal to 1 dou square f by dou y square is equal to 0 and dou square f by dou x dou y is equal to 1. So the Hessian matrix is constant and it's given by 0 0 1 1. For the function to be concave All the eigenvalues need to be negative. It has to be a negative definite matrix. So the characteristic polynomial of f is x square minus x minus x minus 1 whose roots are minus 1 and plus 1. So we have one negative eigenvalue and one positive eigenvalue. Hence the matrix is neither positive definite nor negative definite hence not a concave function so now what we are left to check is the quasi concavity of the function recall the definition of a quasi concave function f inverse of k to infinity this is close bracket k infinity is a convex function so for every k f inverse of k to infinity is a convex function note f xy is equal to xy and the function is from r to plus which implies x and y are both positive and hence xy is positive so we can only check for positive case let us look at the function the graph y equal to k by x it looks something like this and what we want to say is the region in this side of the graph is a convex region so intuitively it is clear from the graph that this region has to be con convex but we have to prove it so say x1 comma y1 belongs to a let us name this region a so x1 my comma y1 belongs to a and x2 comma y2 belongs to a so now we have lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 
comma lambda y1 plus y 1 minus lambda y2 this gives us lambda square x1 y1 plus lambda 1 minus lambda x1 y2 plus lambda 1 minus lambda x2 y1 plus 1 minus lambda square x2 y2 now lambda lambda square x1 y1 is greater than equal to k lambda square as x1 y1 is greater than equal to k also 1 minus lambda square x2 y2 is greater than equal to k 1 minus lambda square so the thing that we are worried now about is lambda 1 minus lambda x1 y2 plus lambda 1 minus lambda x2 y1 note that x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 belongs to a so x1 y1 is greater than equal to k and x2 y2 is greater than equal to k but a priori we cannot say anything about x1 y2 and x2 y1 so suppose x1 greater than equal to y1 i beg your pardon x1 greater than equal to x2 and y1 greater than equal to y2 in this case we have x1 y2 greater than equal to x2 y2 greater than equal to k and x2 y1 greater than equal to x2 y2 which is greater than equal to k so without loss of generality we can just take this to be x2 greater than equal to x1 and y2 greater than equal to y1 the problem arises when x1 greater than equal to x2 again this is without loss of generality and y1 less than equal to y2 so let us draw a graph and see where we land suppose this is x1 comma y1 and this is x2 comma y2 so x2 is less than equal to x1 and y2 is greater than equal to y1 So now let us draw the projections here, here. So what is x2 y1 plus x1 y2? x1 y2 gives us the area of this entire rectangle and x2 y1 gives us the area of this smaller rectangle we want to conclude that x2 y1 plus x1 y2 is greater than or equal to 2k so we have four distinct regions here we name them this is a this is b this is c and this is d x2 y1 plus x1 y2 gives us a plus b plus c plus d plus b 
let us see what x1 y1 plus x2 y2 gives us now x1 y1 gives us b plus d and x2 y2 gives us a plus b now clearly x2 y1 plus x1 y2 is greater than equal to x1 y1 plus x2 y2 hence this is greater than equal to 2k so we have the identity that we needed now we have lambda square k plus 2 lambda 1 minus lambda k plus 1 minus lambda square k which is equal to lambda square plus lambda 1 minus lambda k plus k again lambda 1 minus lambda plus 1 minus lambda square which is equal to k lambda plus k 1 minus lambda which is equal to k so we have that f of lambda x1 y1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 y2 is greater than equal to k hence this thing belongs to a so so we have that our function is not concave but quasi concave hence c is the correct option Thank you.